Hello folks, Matthew Smith here, Librarian for Medicine, Health, uh, Social Work and Sociology here at UEA. This video is going to talk to you about a new resource that we've got access to. In fact, it's not new. We took it on in 2020. But in all honesty, in the last year, you'd be forgiven for missing a new library resource. So up to date is a clinical decision support resource. It's essentially, it's, it's a tool that can help you in the practical side of your program while you're with us at UEA. So I'm going to bring it up on screen here and walk you around it, and then I'm going to show you how you too can access this resource. So up to date, I think of it as a fairly similar tool to BMJ Best Practice or to uh, NICE, if you use any of the tools on there. So if you were to come across uh, a presentation of epilepsy, let's say, in fact, let's talk about epilepsy in children as an example. What you can do, you can come over to up to date, run a quick search and you'll find that there are a few guides which could potentially be useful for you. So I'm going to jump into this initial treatment and monitoring and obviously I am not a doctor or a doctor in training so you will understand this perhaps in a different way to what I do. But the really nice thing here I think is that at the very top you get a sense of when the data was last or the information I should say was last updated and you will find that actually it's organized in a way that allows you to jump down to the section that is most helpful for you. And this is effectively a synthesis of evidence out there that is going to support your clinical work when you're dealing with, in this case, children presenting with epilepsy or seizures. So lots of information in here. And personally, it looks incredibly helpful to me. Now, there are all sorts of guides on here. There are also calculators and there's drug interaction. Uh, so I was doing a quick example here. You can see if you put in any number of drugs, if there are any flags for potential issues in combining them. There are lots of really useful things in here. So I won't walk you around too far because you will find things yourself that are helpful for you. But what I do want to do is show you how you can get access to this resource. So we'll start out at the UEA homepage, my.uea.ac.uk. And from your homepage, you should have a little explore the library block, unless you've deleted it. In which case, oh, I don't know what to say to you. If you've deleted it, there's a link in the, uh, in the menu where you'll still be able to get to us through the divisions and services, I believe it is. Well, in fact, that looks like that's where we're going. Okay, let's do it this direction. So here we are, the library. Essentially, as long as you can get to the library homepage, that's where you need to be. So what we're going to do, we're going to click A to Z databases. And this is a list of all the databases we have access to. So knowing that up to date is U, we're going to limit down to just those resources that begin with a U. And we should find up to date. I'll just zoom this in a little bit for you. There we are, up to date. Click through and you will be able to use the resource straight away. Here we are. Now you can actually use this um, on an app, various other options. So you could choose to register as well. Completely up to you. I so far haven't found that I've needed to, but if you need to, you should just be able to click register and you will note from the URL that actually, well, you may not be able to see this, but it still recognizes you as a UEA affiliated person. So you fill in your details and that's it. You've then got a login that you can use for any up-to-date product. Now, I will say some parts of this, so you, for example, the pathways, I believe we only have access to the, the free to view things, which at the moment is COVID. So we haven't necessarily got access to every single thing on up to date. But when it comes to the drug interactions calculators and then the main content that we looked at, so the epilepsy guide that we looked at, all of that you should have access to. But any trouble, let me know. I hope it's something that proves useful. And if it does, let me know. I always like to know what's being used because, of course, we always look at new resources and we need to know what's useful and what's less useful so we know where to spend the money to best support you. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions at all, just drop me a line. My email, in case you haven't got it to hand, is matthew.j.smith at uea.ac.uk.